even science itself says you can't have uh, order from chaos. Yeah. Uh, that is yeah. what, that's what they're trying to sell me now. You know what I mean? No. There, 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 is a, there is a grand, if, what you want to call it, grand architect or supreme intelligence that has helped shape this. And it's not whether it's uh, external or whether it's our collective projection is, is debatable and something I'm still trying to discover. Have but, you ever heard of the Zeitgeist movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I would imagine then, from what you've said, that they sort of, they, I say they because I have been an activist for the Zeitgeist yeah. for years, but that falls under the bracket of over insistence on science for you? Um, yeah, to a degree. I, I, with, with a lot of stuff that I, that I look at, I take my own truth from it, you know? Yeah, so yeah. I, I can find speakers or lecturers or movements very beneficial in certain ways of, of certain knowledge, yeah. you know? So I'm like, um, oh yeah, really agree with that. Or, you know, I found the, the Zeitgeist stuff about religion really quite fascinating as yeah. well. But um, yeah, that, I'd say anything that tries to deny um, a higher reality than this is is bogus yeah, because yeah. and I, could, I was a stubborn atheist you know but um, once I experienced it I was like well I've, I've had it wrong for yeah. 20 odd years or you know, 26 years or whatever it was of my life I was totally wrong about all this so would you describe yourself now as agnostic or are you convinced that there is a very specific um, agnostic uh, it's more it's, it's a mixture <laughs> It's a mixture. I suppose, I suppose, uh, syncretism, which is the, which is finding the um, individual thing that links all philosophy, all religion, all mythology. Um, I read everything. I want to. Uh, I can take elements of the Bible that I don't take it as face value, but I can decipher my hidden truth from what it's talking about in there. Um, I can take things from, from all sorts of Quran, I can take it from uh, yeah. my mythology, whatever, because it's all, it's all hidden. It's all, they all seem, sing the same song, yeah. effectively. Like science, physics is looking for the glue that they go down, 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 pass out. Mm. What is it that is the same, like that is the oneness? Same with religion, they're looking for the oneness, the sages yeah. from the ancient times, they're all trying to figure out what is the... But, and, and the oneness is very important, but at the same time, we've become so, so collective in our ways that the individuality is equally as important um, to achieve that oneness you've got to go through the self do you know what I mean it, it, it's, um, it's a paradox it's yeah. a standalone complex that's what's described in Ghost in the Shell it's a network giving rise to an individual an individual giving rise to a network is a paradox right, yeah, yeah. the definition of individual is that they're not part of a network the definition of a network is that it's made up of individuals. Yeah. I mean, we, we are all one because we are all made from stardust and light. We're all vibrating little atoms, so um, and everything is. Now, this is uh, well, you know, but it's just some are more dense than others. But then, why is it that there is, seems to be a moral framework for living? Because the one this seems to show that this is sorry, I'm being truncated, but it seems to indicate that. There's, it doesn't matter what you do, effectively, like <clears throat> because at some point in the continuum of your existence, it it's it all fades away. It all, it's everything's an illusion. It's just like a lesson. Yeah, yeah. I, I could quite easily go along with that, man. I think that's why. Right. So that, and that brings us back, I think, to how to overcome it. Like shaming, trying to shame evildoers, if you like is as pointless as trying to praise people who are successful. Yeah. And it's more about gelling. Yeah, and because as soon as you take out one of them, it'll be replaced again. Because until we can fix our ego, and our, until we can govern ourselves, we we'll always fall back on that father figure that we need to have. Yeah. And that father figure is always going to be, like it's been throughout time, predominantly evil, and that power goes to their head, and then they 